ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we do in a problem like this, what it asks us to do is it asks us to first list all the possible rational zeros. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to list them all out. All right. Then once you guys get used to it and you understand what we're kind of doing, you can start breaking them down first of all. But remember, to find all the possible rational zeros, that's going to be the factors of p over q. All right. So let's look at all the factors of p over q. That's going to be plus or minus 24, plus or minus 12. That's going to be uh, plus or minus 8, plus or minus 6, and plus or minus 4, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 1. Correct? So all the factors, every single number that divides into 24. Let's look at q, uh, or q. So that's going to be plus or minus 9, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 1. Right? So what I need to do is I need to put every single one of these numerators over each one of the denominators. This is a big problem, right? This is, this is going to be a lot of solutions. So p over q is plus or minus 24 over 9, comma, plus or minus 24 over 3, comma, plus or minus 24 over 1. Right, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and simplify them all. I'm just going to write them all out. And then you guys will see, oh, you don't need to write them all out. You can, can't, you, know, you can cut some out if you don't, if, once you see duplicates. Because you don't need to write in duplicates. If you have extras, then you can eliminate them. So then I have plus or minus 12 over 9, comma, plus or minus 12 over 3, comma, plus or minus 12 over 1, comma, plus or minus 8 over 9, comma, plus or minus 8, 8 over 3, comma, plus or minus 8 over 1. Is everybody kind of finally seeing my, uh, my trend that I'm doing here? This is a lot of problems. This is a lot of them. But we'll go through them. So we have comma, plus or minus 6 over 9, comma, plus or minus 6 over 3, comma, plus or minus 6 over 1. I am running out of space, so I'm going to continue over here comma, plus or minus 4 over 9, comma, plus or minus 4 over 3, comma, plus or minus 4 over 1, comma, plus or minus 2 over 9, comma, plus or minus um, 2 over 3, comma, plus or minus 2 over 1, comma, plus or minus 1 over 9, comma, plama, plus, plus or minus 1 over 3, comma, plus or minus 1 over 1. All right. This one has a lot. And then there's also some duplicates in here that we don't need to keep on rewriting, right? We just, all I, need to, all I want you to do is just tell me the possible. So when you look at this, um, 24 over 9, that's going to be equals plus or minus 24 over 9. 20, 24 over 3, that's really plus or minus 8, right? Then I have plus or minus 24. Plus or minus 12 over 3, it can be. Um, uh, we can reduce to 3 would be 4 of thirds. Why can't you reduce to 24 over 9? Huh? Why can't you reduce to 24 over 9? 24 over 9. I could. I could go ahead and reduce it. You're right. Um, I'll just, actually, I'm just going to leave it right now as uh, 12 over 9. Well, actually, we're just going to, never mind. We're just going to leave it as how they are. 12 divided by 3, though, we can reduce to 4. Um, 12 over 1 can be 12. Plus or minus, these are all plus or minus. Um, that's 8 over 9. 8 over 3. However, you guys can see I already have 8, right? So I don't need to continue that. 6 over 9 is going to be uh, 2 thirds. And do I, I don't have a 6 over 9. Plus or minus uh, 6 over 9, 2 thirds, plus or minus 2, which I do not have yet, right? 2, and do I have a 6? Nope. Let me look over here. I have 4 ninths. Um, now, actually, you can see here, yeah, when I reduce this, right, that's, that is 4 thirds, right? So I can reduce that down to 4 thirds. And you can see that these are the same. So I don't need to include this other 4 thirds, because this actually is reduced down to 4 thirds. Um, actually, let me, let me, let's write that down as that one is, hold on. That was the same thing, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Sorry, you can't see it. Um, 24 over 9 is the same thing, or no? That was, that's 6 divided by 3 yeah. is going to be 8. That's 8 thirds, not 4 thirds. This one is 4 thirds. So what we see is here, I already have a 4 thirds when I reduce it. So I don't need to write that one. I already have a 4, so I don't need to write that. Um, do I already have a 2 ninths? No, so I could do plus or minus 2 ninths. OK, do I already have a 2 thirds? Yep, I already have a 2 thirds, which was right there. That can reduce down to 2 thirds. I already have a 2. I do not have a 1 ninth, a 1 third, but I already have a 1. Um, no, I don't have a 1. How do I not have a? Yeah, I guess it is my only 1. So I don't have plus or minus. Uh, so I have 2 ninths. I already have 2 thirds. I already have 2. But I do not have a plus or minus 1 ninth, comma, plus or minus 1 third, and plus or minus 1. It's a lot. This is probably going to be longer than anything else you even get on your test. But it's good practice to make sure you write down all the factors. All right? I'm going to leave it at that, and then I'll go through, finish the rest of the problem. So that's just doing your rational zero test.